G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's easy recipe is healthy for you as a snack, an entree, or you make enough, you have a meal. So join me today as I make my version of mushrooms with chicken couscous. Okay, to start off with, I've got 100 mils of water that I just brought to a boil. So to that, we're going to add in 80 grams of couscous. And using a fork, we're just going to fork it through just like so, just to keep all the grains separated. And as soon as you've done that, just remove it from the heat. Okay, so we've removed it from the heat, so just let it stand for two minutes. Okay, so I've returned our couscous to the heat, and now it's on a very low heat. So today I'm going to add about two teaspoons of olive oil. Just drizzle that over. And we're going to cook it for a further three minutes over this very low heat. But we're just going to continuously fork it through, just so all the couscous doesn't stick together. Okay, so it's been three minutes, and I've just turned the heat off. So to that one, I'm going to add about a tablespoon worth of fresh lemon juice. So just squeeze that right in. Then I'm going to add in some parsley, some coriander, about two more teaspoons of olive oil, and a nice season with some black pepper. And just give that a good mix through until everything's combined. Okay, once combined, we're just going to cover this up and let it rest for 10 minutes. Okay, next I've just fried up some ground chicken. You may also call it minced chicken. And just make sure it's cooked all the way through. And now to the fry pan, I'm just going to add in our couscous mix. And just simply give it a good stir to combine. Okay, so once it's combined, we're just going to cover this up while we get started on the mushrooms. Okay, so next I have some large mushrooms. Now I've got them on a baking tray lined with non-stick baking paper. And what I've done is I've just cut the stems out of all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them cut side down just like so. And I've preheated the grill, or in America it's called a boiler. So what that will do is just cook the top. So we're going to place it into the boiler or griller for five minutes on high. So I have about 200 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. You don't have to use Greek, you can use any non-fat yogurt if you like. Then to that I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of freshly chopped mint. Then just simply give it a good mix around until it's well combined. So once mixed, we're going to pop it in the fridge, give it a chance for those flavours to infuse while we get started on the rest. Okay, so it's been five minutes, so we're just going to turn our mushrooms over. And just place them back into the grill for another two minutes. Okay, so I've just taken them out after another two minutes. So now we're just going to top each one with a slice of tomato. And we're just going to place them back into the griller for another two minutes, just to slightly roast those tomatoes. Okay, so we've heated up the tomatoes. So all that's left now is we're going to spoon on some of our couscous mixture. Then just top it off with a dollop of our yogurt sauce. And there we have our delicious mushrooms with chicken and couscous. I can tell you right now, this is a relatively healthy meal, but it's also incredibly tasty too. Assuming of course that you love mushrooms. So if you have enough, you can have them as a meal. Otherwise, they're perfect as a snack. But it means nothing unless they taste good. So let's give one a try. Now that is fantastic. The good thing about heating these mushrooms, it makes them even moister than what they originally were. But of course, when you add that tomato and when it drips inside, it really does infuse all those lovely flavours. And you know what happens when flavours infuse? They taste simply delish. So just because it's a lot healthier doesn't mean it's not going to taste fantastic. So please give it a go because I'm sure you'll love it. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for the delicious recipe.